Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This the War Train here. Do me a favor, if you're not already subscribed, think about subscribing to the channel, guys. I try to put gaming content out like this on a regular basis, and if you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor, please give it a thumbs up. Now with that said, today's video, I want to talk about Nintendo and how they finally are going to be releasing some more games, uh, NES and Super Nintendo games, on their online subscription service. That's right, we haven't heard a peep out of Nintendo since they dropped the Super Nintendo games, you know, and we didn't know if we are going to get NES games since that happened, if we were going to get any more Super Nintendo games, they just basically left us with, well, we're going to drop games kind of whenever. I mean, whenever, what, like whenever next month, whenever in a year, like you just don't know, they, they didn't specify. So now we finally got an idea what's going on. They're releasing a bunch of games December. So it's coming out this month. Um, there's a list, uh, a video they put out actually confirming all these games. And that's good for some of you guys that might have missed out on a Super Nintendo Classic because some of those games on there are going to help fill that library um, for that system on the Nintendo Switch online service. Um, a lot of the games that came out in September were games that were already on that system, uh, plus a couple extra ones. But now, uh, there's going to be some more that were on that system, basically, you know, filling filling out that online service with some more of the, the Super Nintendo Classic games. And one of the best things, I, in my opinion, on there is just the fact that on the Super Nintendo Classic, we had Star Fox 2, which was actually the first official release of that game when, when that launched, which I think now was like two years ago. But that is coming to the online service. So that's pretty awesome for anybody that missed that that uh, system and has never got a chance to play that game. So now, if you have the, the Nintendo Switch with their online service, you will finally be able to play uh, an official version of Star Fox 2. So pretty awesome. Um, there, there's also going to be some NES games, but we're going to go over that list in this video. And then we're also going to go on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Because I was on there, I wanted to check out some pricing for Alien Isolation, which is coming out December 5th, which is tomorrow, or maybe today, whenever you're seeing this video. But, man, I could not believe the amazing deals that are on the Switch eShop right now. <laughs> so we are going to check out some of those uh, AAA games, first party games, and some great indie games that are just having some crazy deals right now. Um, I don't know how long these deals are going to last, so we're going to check them out now. I'm going to just kind of let you know which ones maybe, if you're interested in, you might want to pick up now before this sale's over. And we'll kind of just get through all that shovelware that's on there, because I know that thing is totally cluttered with a bunch of junk games as well. But stick with me, guys. Let's check out the games list for the Super Nintendo and NES, and let's check out these amazing deals. All right, guys, so the 12th of this month, we're getting these games. So pretty sweet, Star Fox 2. You know, if you missed out, now you finally can get a chance to play this. You know, be it that you have the Switch and the online service. Uh, but it's pretty cool that they're putting these games on there. You know, it is about time for sure. People uh, were getting a little tired of just NES games, which I don't blame them. I mean, they still got a ways to go. They got so many great games in their, their just insane library. Um, we got N64 um, uh, game uh, GameCube that they could still uh, put games out for this service. And I would love to see that. Um, I'm hoping we get Mario Maker R or uh, Mario uh, RPG, Super Mario RPG on, on here. I think that would be cool as well. Another game that was on the Super Nintendo Classic that you, you don't see on here yet. Maybe in the next wave. I don't know. We'll see. But pretty cool that they added a couple more from the Super N Nintendo Classic. I love Punch-Out. Hope they come out with a Punch-Out for Switch. That would be great. Um, you know, Breath of Fire 2. This looks a little better than Breath of Fire 1. I'm not super familiar with these games. I did play Breath of the Fire 1 a little bit. Um, like I said, in my opinion, this one looks a little bit better. And here we got NES games. Journey to Silius. This is a, a, a good NES game. And we're also getting another one, which is um, Crystallis, which is a great game. Uh, kind of like a uh, Legend of Zelda style game. But 
that's also on the SNK collection. Um, if, if you didn't know that, um, that's actually on that collection of games as well. Uh, but regardless, it's pretty cool. I'm glad to see that they're adding more games. But what do you guys think? This is the game list, you know? Not bad. Definitely not bad. There's definitely some good games here, that's for sure. And I'm glad to see it, you know? And they list them all here again. So, cool stuff. So, let's check out those deals, guys. All right, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time going over these. Um, everybody, for the most part, is familiar with a lot of these games. Breath of the Wild and Mario Party, $41.99. So it seems like on this bunch of games, Nintendo's first-party games seem to almost all be $41.99. That's 30% off seems to be what they're comfortable with here. So... You're not going to see much more than that. Um, there is another one that has even less than that, which is Sonic um, and Mario, uh, Sonic and Mario Olympic, uh, the new one. So that that one unfortunately didn't get thirty percent off. But you got your uh, Yarnies here, Unravel Two. That's a great deal, five bucks. Ori in the Blind Forest, uh, Cuphead. Uh, you know, if you don't have Cuphead, just any sale on it, definitely get it. It's worth it. You know, Mario Rabbit Kingdom Battle, that game has gotten so many deals. Um, I would, if I didn't have it, I would focus probably on some other games and pick that up just another, any other time. Because it's always on sale for a great price. So, there's definitely some, some great deals here that I would probably jump on first. Just because you might not see them as often. Again, $41.99 for a first party game, Mario Deluxe. Um... The Castlevania, the Contra, and the Arcade uh, Konami collections are all $9.99. So that is a, definitely a great deal. And those are digital only, so you might as well pick them up while they're on sale. Bro Force, under $4. Uh, that's worth it, in my opinion. See, uh, this one is only a uh, <laughs> weird amount off, 16%. It does have a demo available, though. I, I might go download that. I'm going to wind up picking that game up as well, but I'm going to pick up a, a physical copy. Um, if This is for anybody that doesn't mind getting stuff digitally or for just digital-only games. Um, these games are definitely worth it when they're on sale. Um, if you are comfortable with not a physical, Dead Cells is just a great game, period. I highly recommend that game. I put over 100 hours into that game. It's addictive. Um, so I already got my money's worth out of that game, let me tell you. You know, you got Crash Bandicoot. Um, you got the uh, this Killer Queen Black's been getting a lot of deals. Um, Mortal Kombat 11. You know, always... That's a good price. And the Sega Genesis uh, Classics, 15 bucks, definitely a good deal. That's for sure. Uh, I could just got Nino Kuni physically for, I want to say, cheaper than that. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, it was either $29 or $39.99. I think it was $29.99, though. Doom, that's not bad for Doom. $30, uh, $30 you know. And it's the same thing, too, with... Um, uh, the new Colossus, uh, Wolfenstein 2, that's also on sale here. Uh, Mario Tennis Aces, same thing, 30% uh, percent off, not bad. Got your Spyro, that's on sale. Uh, that's been seeing some sales with the holidays. The Turok games, um, they're just digital. I think their limited run is doing a physical version. Um, I'd like to get that, but for now, you know, digitally is what, what you can only get, so... Um, those are definitely worth it. They're great ports with awesome features. Um, T Tales of Asperia, that's ha having a sale. That's good. Grandia HD Collection, that's really not bad. I think that's digital only as well. I could be wrong in that, but I'm pretty sure it was only digital. Yeah. Um, the Bloodstained Games, excellent. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary, that's, that's a great game. It's got so many. But you, you can see there's just so many great games on this list. Wow, look at this. Valkyria Chronicles, $9.99, huh? Wow. You got your Resident Evil games, Messenger, Moonlighter, I mean, Blaster Master, Zero Two. Um, yeah, it just keeps going with excellent games. 
Oh man, I might have to get that. Just my son always wants Slender, uh, Slender Man. Um, two ninety nine. I'm almost to just get that, just to, to like make him be good if he wants to play it. <laughs> so maybe I will have to pick that up. But look at this, ninety nine cents. Uh, Bio Lab Wars. I heard that game was great. It's a Contra uh, clone, basically an NES style. Um, ninety nine cents. I mean. I mean, that's even just worth, any game is almost worth uh, just when it's change, um, you know, because you really can't go wrong. Even if the game was garbage, you're not losing much. Uh, Ease 8, that's a good game. But, yeah, time and time again, there's just good games like this one. Steam World Dig, uh, great game, three bucks. Come on, I mean, that's that's a steal, you know. And like I said, it just keeps going and going. With just awesome deals on games. I mean, it, it's just crazy the stuff that's on here. But I just wanted to kind of page through it and let you guys kind of get an idea of what is on here. Um, and just how good some of these deals are. I mean, they're excellent. Crayola Scoot, 90% off. $3. I mean, even if the game's not good, which I'm sure it's definitely worth $3. It's probably worth more than that. But for 3 bucks, I mean, wow. Um, it's crazy. Reaper, $3. Shakedown Hawaii. Uh, yeah. Steam World Dig 2, that's a fantastic game. Uh, Hob, that's another one I was looking at. Um, I would love to get a physical version of Hob, though. Animusha on sale. I mean, yeah, they just keep they just keep going, um, you know, with, with the deals. I mean... It, it, Virtual race, Sega um, Ages Virtual Racing. That is awesome. Um, that was a fantastic port. Well, yeah. What do you guys think of these crazy deals? Like I said, they're excellent. There's just so many games. They keep going. Uh, my connection timed out. I don't know why that happened. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, think about subscribing. I try to put gaming content out like this as much as possible. Um, you know, I try to do it every day, but that don't always happen. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm the War Train, and I'm out. Have a good one.